central Alabama will hit some dangerously low temperatures tonight, but how much longer are we going to be seeing these freezing temperatures? And of course, you're tracking it, Dave, and that, that's the important part. We know we've got to get through the night, but how long are we <laughs> enduring the cold? Fortunately, it's not much longer, which is good news. We have to get through some dangerously cold temperatures out there for tonight. So whatever you've done to stay warm, continue to do so for the night tonight. Right now, again, we do have that weather aware for tonight, but there's very low temperatures of 5 to 10 degrees. The wind chill may be as cold as 5 below in spots to 10 above and yet yeah, this is pipe bursting weather out there so make sure you're weatherproofing your home out there make sure those hoses are det detached from those outside spigots install those spigot covers on top of them outside as well too. open those cabinets underneath those sinks to let that warm air from the heat get in there and drip that far faucet that's farthest from the main valve that comes in from the street to your house to get that water flowing through the entire house pretty sunset here in Coleman but look at the icy roady conditions here road conditions I should say 18 degrees out there there, there's the winds out at 11 miles per hour, making it feel even colder with that wind chill. You can see the road temperatures there 24, 27 Jasper to Fayette, 30 Tuscaloosa to 28 in Birmingham. So everyone at or below freezing now. So any roads that are still wet, we have to watch out for some icy spots, that black ice, and then it's those bridges and overpasses as well. And overnight tonight, you can see the temperatures dropping here. And there's road temperatures by midnight in the teens to around 20. We'll stay that way tomorrow morning as well, too. So that's why we could see a few icy spots of those roads did not melt earlier today, but then by tomorrow, uh, look at that. The sunshine's going to get those road temperatures in the 50s, so we won't have to worry about icing anymore. Here from our Hoover High Regency camera, it's 21 degrees in Hoover now with a clear sky. There's winds around 8 miles per hour. Uh, right now it's 18 in Coleman at 22 Birmingham, Asheville, Gadsden at 20, 26 Tuscaloosa to Moundville, Hamilton. You're at 19 degrees there, but with those winds of about 5 to 18 miles per hour, there's wind chill numbers are anywhere from 6 in Coleman to 11 here, 10 in Jasper, 13, Alabaster, 12 for you in Aniston, Clanton. You feel like 20 degrees right now. And we'll see those air temperatures in the teens by 8 o'clock, falling to 10 degrees here in Birmingham overnight tonight with that clear sky. We're we'll continue looking at some beautiful weather out there, but that Arctic air is settling in with high pressure sitting near Dallas. That northerly flow going to keep things pretty chilly out there tonight, too. May see a few high clouds actually kind of streaming off the Tennessee River and Lake Gunnersville as we fall down to the teens here by 11 o'clock tonight for everyone. Some of you double springs to Hamilton around eight degrees. Then tomorrow morning will be in the single digits to the north. Coleman there about five degrees, two in double springs. Carrollton, you're at six, about nine alabaster there to Talladega and Lineville. And then you see these lows being so cold, five to about 11 degrees, four to 11 degrees out there in spots. And that wind chill two below in Coleman, four degrees here, five from Jasper, Asheville and Tuscaloosa and alabaster tomorrow morning. So we do have that wind chill advisory in effect until 8 a.m. Wednesday morning at those dangerous wind chills to so find ways to stay warm. Watch out for black ice out there tonight. Those roads that were in the shade did stay wet and icy today. Could still see a few bridges with some ice on them. Most of them have been treated though in North Alabama will still have those travel issues. But then tomorrow we do get above freezing for much of the area with plentiful sunshine back down to bitter cold temperatures Thursday morning in the teens and 20s. And you can see the wind chill about 10 to about 26 degrees out there Thursday morning. And then we look ahead to Thursday later in the afternoon. The chance of rain is back up across the area too here as our next front moves through. It is going to bring us some wet weather. We'll be in the 40s and 30s, so this will be a cold rain here 7 p.m. on Thursday, but the rain exits just in time as those temperatures get below freezing as we head into Friday morning, so I'm not expecting any kind of wintry precipitation with this event there on Thursday, but it does bring us a cold blast again. Need to be weather aware as we get into Saturday. How about lows around 12 to 16 and highs only 30 for your Saturday before we do warm back up?